So the cruise starts here in Istanbul, and then we have two days in Athens, and then Mykonos, and then we go all the way around to Dubrovnik, and then up to Venice, and then we fly home. And your cousin's paying for the whole thing? Yeah, she won some kind of contest or something, and she's taking me along. Cool. Have you ever been to the Mediterranean before? Are you kidding? I've never been anywhere. Oh, come on, you must have. No, really. Hey, this is my first time in a plane, first time on a ship. No offence, but you sure I haven't got out much. Well, my family never travelled and, well, to be perfectly honest, since this asthma thing, I, uh, I've been kind of afraid to go anywhere. Nonsense. With the proper precautions, you are just as fit to travel as anyone else. Oh, I think I sense a lecture coming on. All right then, mm. Professor. Ha-ha. <laughs> Fill me with your wisdom. There is no wisdom involved, really. Just common sense. Now, the basic rule is stick with your daily control and medication and you won't get in serious trouble. Now, for instance, I was once studying indigenous tribes in uh, Borneo. One morning, I woke up and I found that my controller was empty. I had no choice but to visit the local doctor. Fortunately, I had remembered to bring a Malay phrase book. One must always take the language barrier very seriously. Believe me. I learnt my lesson. And from now on, whenever I go on any trip, I always make sure that my medications are up to date and in sufficient quantity for the length of my travels. And I make sure I pack them in my carry-on luggage where I can get hold of them. Naturally, you want to do some research. Some destinations might be better than others. Check the pollen count, the expected weather conditions, and be sure to talk everything through with your doctor before you go. Get your personal international asthma information card to list all the basic information and the medications you need. The international names, not just the brand names. And let your family and friends know where you are and stay in touch so we won't worry about you. Which we will anyway. Booyah! The main thing is never get caught without your medication. No matter where you're going. Any questions? Yeah. That Borneo story with the shaman, onion, and the shaving. Is that exactly how it happened? Well, Thomas, I might have exaggerated a little bit, <laughs> but. My point is valid. The challenges that you will encounter traveling can be overcome and should be overcome. Being asthmatic is no reason to miss out on the wonders of the world. Well, you know what? I certainly feel a lot more comfortable about the trip. Thanks, Peter. Not at all. And uh, as long as you don't get seasick, I'm sure you'll have a wonderful time. Seasick? I, I never thought about that. It's easily prevented. And I doubt there'll be any sharks where you're going. Sharks? No, yeah, I wouldn't worry about sharks. Let alone alligators. Alligators? Oh, you'll be fine. Enjoy your trip. Yeah. Don't forget to ride. Bye. Bye, bye bye. What? It's not as if I said the ship might sink. <laughs> <laughs>